What's happening, YouTube? Knife Crazy here. Got a uh, kind of a different teaching type knowledge video for you today. Um, it's definitely about knives. Um, it's, it could be about anything other than knives, but as you see in front of you, you got a lot of Loctite uh, brand uh, thread locker type stuff in front of you. Um, reason for this is, uh, you know, I just want to put the information out there. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not trying to, you know, you do this or you're crazy, you know, that kind of attitude. And, but I'm just giving you the information you choose to do with it, what you want to do with it. Um, but I think there's a lot of people out there that's using thread lockers in the, you know, uh, kind of way that's really not meant to be, or really, really using too much of the wrong kind, I guess you would say. Um, a, uh, YouTube follower of mine, his name's uh, Steve Clever. Uh, I think it's Clever, Clever, Clever. Um, he uh, he brought up to my attention a few weeks back. He mentioned something. You know, he wasn't being rude or ugly about. It. He was like, "Listen, hey, I've, I've tried to talk to a lot of people on these videos that use Threadlocker um, the wrong kind of way, and this that, and the other. Uh, you know, please look it up. Do do your research on it, and uh, you'll be surprised." And I and I did. Um, because, you know, hey, my my followers is my followers, so I'm going I'm to listen to you. I got a lot of you trolls out there I'm not going to listen to, but, but this guy, I know this guy, you know, he's been following for a while, so, you know, I did the research on it, and, and he's right. So I wanted to make this video today to, to kind of share with all y'all um, the, the differences and where you should be using certain colors and where you shouldn't be and all that. So, um, um I guess a lot of it out there, a lot of people wouldn't even know about the purple, okay? And uh, this is the Loctite, this is the uh, 222MS, um, which this little one you see in front of you here, made by Loctite, is the 222MS also. And for you uh, Chris Reeve Knives fans out there, you know you get one of these every time you buy a knife, okay? So I'll go ahead and say that right off the rip. If Chris Reeves uses 222MS purple Loctite on his knives, it can't be wrong. <laughs> uh, he's, he's been making knives for a long time, that company has. So uh, I'm pretty sure he knows what he's talking about and he knows what's needed. So keep that in mind when you want to say, oh, no, 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 so-and-so, this company does this and this company does that. Okay, that's great. That's because they, you know, that's, you can do that. But this is my information I'm giving you. All right, so the purple thread locker, let me do this little, you can actually go to the Loctite website to get this actual uh, pamphlet here that I got. And I just want to show you real quick, okay? You can, see, you can uh, pause and read or whatever you want to do here. But I'm just gonna kind of hold it right here. Low strength, okay, we're looking right here. Low strength is the purple, which is ideal for quarter inch screws or lower, okay? Quarter inch or lower. Let me show you quarter inch. Quarter inch right here. That's a quarter inch. All right, so this size or lower is recommended for purple. How many uh, knives out there do y'all know of? Here's just one little high sitting here. See these little screws here, see this little pivot? How many pivot screws out there do you notice quarter inch or more? <laughs> Not too many. All right, let's think about that. All right, and here's like a number 10 and here's a number eight screw, okay? All right, we see those a lot of times, that's about what size we see in pivots, okay? A lot of times, and even smaller, all right? And here's a little group of screws. All right, this is the and smaller section, okay? Where it says quarter inch or smaller. Here you go, here's your scale screws and your and you clip screws and all that kind of stuff, all right? Recommended purple, all right? And they say that here, that the purple would be easy disassembly using hand tools, all right? Medium, right here, blue, that would be your blue. Designed to be removed with standard hand tools on quarter inch to three quarter inch I don't have a three quarter because I don't I don't have a, a semi truck mechanic shop here in my house. So, um, but this size or bigger, all right, for blue, which can be removed with hand tools. 
All right, so if something is recommended for this size or bigger, and you put it on this little guy right here, that's why a lot of times when the companies put blue Loctite on a little handle screw like this, or even a little pivot screw like this, that you gotta get the soldering iron out and heat them up just to break it loose because it's too hard, it's too much. It don't require it, okay? Let's keep that in mind. And another thing, a lot of companies do not put any kind of thread locker on the little handle screws. And a lot of them don't do it on the clip screws either. So snugging up your little handle screws and snugging up your clip screws is most of the time enough, sufficient. You don't need thread locker. Thread locker is used when you want to set your pivot right and get that centering perfect and you want to go ahead and dial it in and go, boop, okay, done. There it is. Leave it alone. Let it dry. We're good until we need to take it apart and clean it again. And there's the key, the take it apart part. Put too much blue on a little pivot like this and you might end up stripping out your torque screw or one of these little cheap screws, you know, on the knife itself. If you use too much of the blue to lock it down. All right, let's go to red. And I, I don't, I mean, there might be a small chance that somebody would ever want to use red. If you ever use the 263 on a knife, you do not want that screw to ever move again. So don't ever really try to plan on getting that uh, screw back apart, uh, that knife back apart again. So anyway, it says high strength, designed to deliver high strength on quarter to three quarter screws. Only uh, removal would be required on that heat, uh, 550 degrees Fahrenheit, and to disassemble while it's hot. Okay, so that, that nah, I just don't use this on knives, okay? We're using these on knives, and this more so than this in most cases, all right? Like I said, Chris Reeves knives, put this into Sabenzas and Kosi's for his pivots. Purple, same one, right here. All right. And what I've done is these are sitting here in front of you. You can get a closer look here. All right. This one here is red. You can see the red on it. This one here is blue. You can see the signs of blue. And this one here is purple, all right? I've already, I've tested these. Now, when I, all right, this, these two here are locked down already. But I've done, I didn't just read this and go, okay, let me tell everybody. I put these three Loctites on these three quarter inch screws, all right? Let them dry 24 hours, 48 hours, whatever, and tried to remove them. Obviously the red, I could remove it, but I put it in a vise. What I did, I put the screw in the vise and I put a, um, uh, a ratchet on it. And it, you know, it, it cracked it loose. And I didn't have to use heat or anything, but it, but it took some, some power there. In the blue, it took, a nice little oomph of, you know, arm strength to break it loose too. And technically so did the purple. I was, I was shocked. I, I can't get this unscrewed right now. This is purple. All right. So it says to remove with hand tools, low strength. Okay. This is a quarter inch. This, so this is the max in this range right here for this one, the max. So purple's on here and I cannot budge this Okay, I don't have any tools for it. If I put this in a vise and I got a wrench out, yes, I could break it loose. I can do it with all of them. But that's my point. I can't, with my hands on this quarter inch nut and holding this, I cannot get it loose from this purple. So what is that gonna do to this little boy right here? All right, inside of this little guy. It's gonna be sufficient, guys, all right? If that purple is holding this screw that hard, this nut to that screw, bolt, it's going to be enough for these little bitty screws. All right? Just keep that in mind. That's what I'm saying. I'm getting the info to you. You research. You make your own decisions. But Chris Reed Knives puts purple on his knives. I'm going to say that again. All right. So... These, I did purple and blue on both of these. I can't budge them. Purple and blue. All right. I can get the tools out and remove these, which that's what they're made for. They are made, blue and purple are made to remove with tools, without any heat. But guys, how many times out there have you had to hit the heat gun, soldering iron, okay, soldering iron, to a knife, 
to remove the screws that somebody put blue Loctite on, all right? Not, not red. There's some knife companies out there that puts red, I'm sure, because they don't want you to tear it apart, you know? And even Spyderco did that for a while, and they, you know, got all hell about it, and they stopped doing it. But, like, Benchmade, I saw a video not too long ago where the Benchmade guy on a shot show or something was assembling knives right there in front of everybody, but he was putting blue light tight on everything. I'm talking about handle screws and clip screws and, you know, everything. And it wasn't like a little dab either. It was a, you know, a, a hunk of it. It's going to be pretty tough to remove those. Just saying. Um, so let's flip this over. Now we know quarter inch or low, lower, all right, for purple and quarter to three quarter for thread locker. Recommended, all right. And here's another thing, all right. All right, this is the Loctites here, the blue and the red. This is uh, 243 and 263. Okay, we can read right here up top where a lot of people out there use the 242 and the 262, all right, which is pretty much the same thing, but this is the newer version. Keep that in mind, guys. If y'all got a 242 and a 262 and you want something that's better, but you still want to keep blue or red, this is your option because they're saying now the, two, the 243 and the 263 um, performs property of the original 242 and the 263 plus more to meet the ever-changing demand in uh, industrial environments of today and tomorrow, okay? So they're saying that these formulas offer high temperature performance to withstand temperatures of that. Okay, our knives ain't going to be that hot. If they get that hot, ooh, we're in a house fire, all right? Uh, imp improved cure performance on oil-contaminated surfaces. There you go, guys. How many knives out there has oil around a pivot? How many knives out there have y'all ever taken apart, put some oil on, maybe didn't get this, the screw completely clean with alcohol, the pivot area completely clean with alcohol, and you just slap some Loctite on it and stick it in there, okay? So they're saying that these, the two 43 to 63 is better for oil contaminated surfaces. So I would say if you're using blue, 243 might be the better way to go than the 242, all right? And these are able to cure without primer on surfaces such as stainless steel. Stainless steel screws without primer. So I think the 243 and the 263, which we're not really using these for knives, so mainly the 243 blue is the better way to go for Loctite instead of the 242, all right? There's that. All right, so now we got a, over here we got a 222 MS, which whether you know what it means or not, I'm about to tell you, okay? The MSs stands for mil spec, which, you know, military grade, military, all right, you know how the military is gonna say, hey, this is how we want ours designed to be, to stand up for this, this, and this, and they made them their own version. Okay, so up here we got the, the low strength purple 222 and you can read across there and it shows you what it's made for and the temperature range and the cure time, all that sort of stuff. And if you read down here, the 222 MS, it's got a little differences. So you can check that out. Um, but the MS, the mil spec version right here is the one that Chris Reeves uses in his mil spec version. Okay, so keep that in mind. But this chart right here is, is very well. Um, uh, you got your, if you go to your blue up here, now you got the 243, all right? Um, so you can see the differences of that and the 242 and the, you know, all the different versions here, all right? So you can check that out. All good information. If you think I'm just telling you this for no reason, here you go. This is it. All right, so that's the video that I want to tell y'all. This is pretty much about it, all right? Little screws like this. Technically, obviously, this is overkill. Forget this, all right? But when it comes to really overkilling, the blue is kind of overkilling on these little screws, guys, gals. Let's think about that. If you want to remove these screws easily in the future and you're keeping that knife, it's yours, you want to clean it every week, it's... 
might be a little too much. All right. Let's start looking into this guy right here. I'm not trying to say I don't, I didn't get none of this for free. Okay. This is all bought by me. Okay. I'm not trying to tell you go run out and buy a Loctite brand and all that. I'm just saying Threadlocker in general. Um, so the purple low strength is needed from quarter inch all the way down, number 10, number eight, and maybe a number six. I can't tell right offhand. And all these little guys right here, right? This is what purple is recommended for to remove with hand tools. So it's not just going to come apart by sneezing on it. Okay. All right. I appreciate you guys watching. Y'all stuck around this long. Thank you very much. I uh, hope this was helpful. I get a lot of videos, a lot of time, a lot of comments that says, uh, I love your, um, teaching videos, your how to's and your demos and things like that. And, uh, it was brought it to my attention. Thank you, Steve. Um, great video idea. And I made a video. I took me some time. I wanted to make sure I did my own testing and all that kind of stuff. I want to make sure I was telling people the right information for the right product. Okay. All right. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all my subscribers. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.